All right, guys, what is going on? Today it's time for your weekly catfish video. This is week 41. Bought these two little red tail catfish 41 weeks ago. Been taking videos every week, posting them on YouTube so you can see how fast they grow. And I'm gonna start with turning off the pump here. So, I uh, just did a water change yesterday. Been feeding them every other day, and they've been eating a lot. <laughs> they've been eating a super huge amount of fish. I can't believe it. Uh, I think I may have overfed them the last time I actually fed, because uh, it's it's kind of hard to know how much they're gonna eat, and they're eating a lot. I can't even believe it. <laughs> Look, he's like still a little bit sluggish from <laughs> all the food he ate. Uh, day before yesterday. I think I fed him a little too much. So, we'll see if they can, how much they can eat today. I actually fed him quite the excess last time. <laughs> uh, I think the same one got both of those. Let's see here. Get a big old chunk. Before you know it, I'll be putting handfuls of food in there. It's pretty incredible. Let's see if they'll come over for a little bit of food here. It's interesting. We're getting a little bit of foam on the top. So, oh, I just realized in this last water change, I didn't put any of that Melifix in there. Maybe we're getting foam from uh, not putting in the Melifix. Usually I throw in a cat full, of, cat full of Melifix. Every time I do a water change, I've been changing about half the water once every week and a half now <laughs> he's just really mellow and lazy <laughs> that's pretty funny they're getting so big i can't believe it let's see here some of this is still a little bit kind of frozen a little bit i chopped up a bunch of fish pulled it out of the freezer and chopped it up and then i realized i didn't think i had enough this guy's getting all the food. We need to feed this guy over here. Come on, buddy. I don't know if you've had any. <laughs> he finally got some. <laughs> finally. That's the other hard part is making sure they both get food. This guy's a pig right here. He just keeps coming back for more. And it's funny. They've gotten to the point where they really don't eat the little stuff. They kind of ignore all the little tiny stuff and they just eat the big chunks. <laughs> Look at how big he is. Before you know it, I'll just be throwing whole fillets in there. Which is kind of crazy. This piece right here is a little bit frozen. Let's see. <laughs> we got one that's like bulging fat and the other one's a little bit skinny. Uh, it depends on how much they come up too, so... That's the other thing with hand feeding. If one just keeps coming up, he ends up getting most of the food. So I kind of put in, uh, maybe towards the end here, maybe I won't do any more hand feeding. See if I can get all this thought out a little bit. Maybe I'll pull the filter and just put in the rest. I think I am gonna put in some some of that Melifix cat full. Kind of cut down on the foam, the catfish foam. Uh, you know, I just realized I didn't change the carbon in the filter. That's the other thing I didn't do. I actually have three fish tanks. I have a 125 gallon, a uh, little 14 gallon nano, and then I have this one. This is about, uh, well, it's a 400 gallon hot tub, but I fill it up with about 350 gallons of water. Alright, so I am going to put the rest in, kind of put it right on top of them here, so they can, so the other one who isn't really eating that much gets a little bit more. Alright, so I'm going to finish up with some underwater video.